It may not look like Alibaba's cave. Wow. I just like to stand back a little because I've, I've been privy to a couple of things that have fallen out. But Craig Bantle is pretty sure there's hidden treasure in this garage. His job is to find it. Garage Gold is a series that ran on the DIY network from 2013 until its final season in 2017. The show follows the exploits of proprietor of Garage Brothers and host of the series, Craig Bantle, and his crew, as they seek value in the cluttered hoardings from people's neglected motorhomes and storage units. While the show may have ended, fans of the show can still catch reruns of the series and follow Craig and his crew as they uncover value in the oddest places and turn forgotten or neglected items into gold. Garage Gold had a unique concept, which is very similar to Attic Gold and Storage Wars, which made it a favorite among DIY network viewers. Known as Magnolia Network, and was the original brainchild of Craig Bantle. As the owner of the parent company Garage Brothers, which is responsible for all the activities in Garage Gold, Craig's services with an odd twist caught the attention of Paper Route Productions and producer Alan Lagarde, who turned the idea into an entertaining show that ran for six seasons. Based in Raleigh, North Carolina, Garage Brothers is a company that provides a cleaning service to customers wanting to clean out neglected basements, motorhomes, or even storage units, and turn them into usable workspaces. Craig and his crew, consisting of the appraiser, Mike Gleisinger, mechanic and heavy lifter, Captain Ron, and Tony the Muscle, who works as a heavy lifter, offer their services free of charge under the condition that they can keep any items and valuables. The common expression is one man's trash is another man's treasure as consistently demonstrated by Craig and his cohorts. Once done with the cleaning out process, Craig and his crew would turn the said space into an accessible, usable workspace. Likewise, the show would follow Craig's exploits as Garage Brothers delivered its services, often finding items of incredible value to later auction to the highest bidder. While this might sound like adventurous fun, which certainly provided valuable entertainment, Craig's endeavors could sometimes become a rather disastrous gamble with a few projects ending up a complete financial loss. But on the other hand, valuable finds such as antiques, collectibles, or other valuables have proven to be very profitable. Unfortunately, very little information is known about Craig and his crew's personal lives, and as such, it's nearly impossible to determine what happened with the stars of Garage Gold since the show's cancellation. However, according to Bantle's LinkedIn profile, his family-owned and operated business, Garage Brothers, seems to continue providing their services in the area where they began. With that in mind, it's plausible to assume that Craig and his crew are still working hard on cleaning out storage rooms. From what little information is available, it's safe to assume that Bantle continues to dig for gold with the same methods he became famous for. But who knows what kind of treasures he's found since. With the show no longer following their progress and processes, Garage Gold fans and followers might never know. Craig does have a Facebook profile, but with old, limited information. Whatever they're up to, it seems clear that Bantle would not easily give up working in his unique industry, quite possibly because many of his gambles have paid off. His net worth is estimated by sources as over $6 million. But if you want to be reminded of more details concerning Bantle's exploits, feel free to catch Garage Gold reruns on Magnolia. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.